start and one start and why something interrupts me. But anyhow, this is a video I am going to dedicate. It's going to be probably maybe the last video I'm going to dedicate to Eastern Europe. This video is going to be dedicated actually to Germany. Uh, there was a time when there was Eastern Germany on the map. But this isn't about Eastern Germany, it's about Slovenia, it's about Croatia, Czech Republic, Slovakia. All these Eastern European countries, the countries that gained independence, either from Soviet Union or Federation, so-called Federation of Yugoslav Republics. Uh, either or both of the two, it doesn't matter, Baltic states and so on are in it, Latvia, Lithuania, Estonia. Czech Republic, Slovakia, whatever, Hungary, Romania, Bulgaria, and so on. Uh, maybe it's interesting. I'm going to stress you a few important facts here. These facts are going to pertain, I'll say foremost, to Slovenian independence. Um, Overall, I'm going to touch entire Eastern Europe, but know that I am extremely, extremely pleased in respect to this case, uh, because finally I touched the area which allows me to exercise complete autonomy in respect to entire MKO for case a whole thing about what and how went on from beginning to the end. I did even kindergarten. I went back in time all the way 48 years back in time when I was first drugged up, subjected to MK Ultra and how I entered from kindergarten to a grammar school, a teacher's, uh, now, let me do Slovenian independence, let me do Croatian independence, let me do some input here about Eastern Europe, about Angela Merkel, about Eastern Germany, about Bonn, Western Germany, where I was also delivered frequently. As I stated, no, I am extremely pleased because of what I already have outlined earlier today. This here, there is a post. There is a few things you should know about Joe Biden. And I did stress on the bottom the issues, which are not, not, not quite like this. They are somewhat. Uh, they are pertaining to Slovenian independence. And now, uh, thanks to my ability to go back in time and clarify all these issues up to the last millimeter as my habit is. That's exactly what I am going to do. This is what I said here. Loise Peterle, Angela Merkel, who delivered me with the German officials of Slovenia, had a talk in front of me inside this very kitchen, 91, and German side insisted on, no, not yet. And not yet, which led into upgrade. You made for us impossible and so on uh, for the next, uh, not exactly 40 years, but 35 for sure. Um, this here is what I meant under autonomy, because when you go that back in time with a, such a precision, there is really nothing left. This isn't about Joe Biden or British royals only. It applies to everybody. It applies to absolutely everybody. And as I walk through the forest, uh, talking to myself, I came to realize one thing. Now, I am video recording this. because I want to video record, because it makes me happy. Not really. Um, satisfied. 
Yes. As I walked through the forest, I said to myself, in respect to autonomy I, I mentioned earlier, I said to myself, I don't even give a shit about what Central Intelligence Agency, Federal Bureau Investigation, witnesses, all the people who participated in MKUltra have to even say. How many people can say this? That's also a daring statement. Somebody who was subjected to such practice for no less than 48 years. No. But it's not gutsy. It's a statement that I can make. So what statement like this means that I had a capacity to go beyond, from a realistic point of view, to go beyond of what American, British, German, therefore the countries who anticipated will have to say, a final say, Do definitely what appeared to them would be the thing impossible, basically. A big piece of cake was missing, down from 1995. And I razor that one all the way down to kindergarten. So that there was a lot of space for manipulation, which now is absolute. There is none. There is no vacuum. There is, there is just a... There is, there is no space in between. Now it's a vacuum. There is, it's, it's totally tight. There is no, no space in between. That's it. It's, it's totally, totally fulfilled. Everything. Nobody's going to have a final say. You can have audio. You can have video. You can have whatever the fuck you want. But the only credible actual testimony that counts in this case is my case and it's so exact it's so detailed as i stated i walked through the forest i realized i don't even care about your audio or video recordings or whatever it is that you have i gathered proofs people can read people can see whatever i'm here i did in details, absolutely everything one possibly could have done. It's done according to video and audio documentation for which they told me that it's going to be necessary to do so that they could confirm this. But I really don't give a shit. I don't give a shit because of the malpractice. And it's something I have outlined below. Uh, it was extremely criminal... I really didn't have to go through such humiliation. I really didn't have to go through such a financial struggle, through psychiatric harassments, police harassments, destruction, being ripped on every step of the way when I consider how much you insisted me that it was so many, because of so many people that was involved in it, that I have to do it. That you decided I will have to do it. That you can't afford actually to miss on something like this, to have it done. Because number of people that was in it. And yet you insisted this for the cost of my life. Through the circumstances which involved anywhere from spine injury, cancer, liver. Kidneys, you don't do this if you want to help somebody. You are not on my side. That's why I said I'm extremely, extremely pleased, satisfied in respect to DDD, DDDA. No video, 
no audio is needed. And it goes to demonstrate, I don't like take credit for this, but it goes to demonstrate just how much underestimated I was by these people. Oops. They rated me as that much bigger, greater satisfaction on my end. I want to finish this video and I want to give you a complete detail about Angela Merkel, her whereabouts in Eastern Germany, about the Western government, about maybe Slovenian independence. Touch few uncles here in respect to this case. And as I stated, probably this is really it. Uh, Eastern Germany was the one to where American Central Intelligence Agency eavesdropping technology, you want to call this microphones, audio phones, whatever, this stuff was integrated in a body, in a nasal area, sinus area, upper area, without any party being aware of what goes on, other than those who passed on to Eastern Germany. In Eastern Germany, the contact through whom I always went, whatever delivered to Eastern Germany from Moscow, from Poland, you know, this was all under the Soviet Union. I'm sure you understand that. Well, you know, you could be... You know, you could be you could be dead the same evening. Your family could disappear the next day, the entire family. You would never see your neighbor again, or your mom or dad or everybody. If it matters, I'm saying. Um penalties for for espionage in the Soviet Union, you don't want to know. They covered Poland, they covered Eastern Germany, uh, Hungary, Romania, and so on. Uh, Slovenia, Croatia, Bosnia, Macedonia, Montenegro were part of Yugoslav Federation. This was just a greater as I refer to as Greater Serbian Shetnik State on the Balkans. The same applied. Maybe even worse, I don't know. That you would do the stuff like this in, in, in Yugoslavia? It only meant one thing, it meant 100% uh, death sentence. How many times I was promised death? by Soviets, by, by, uh, by the leaders of Yugoslavia. It's hard to tell. That's how many times. Not because it wouldn't be, but more than 10, more than 100 times. Yeah. My contact in Slovenia, my contact in Slovenia, who would draw me through the border, straight through the border from Slovenia. I was drugged up, they prepared me inside of the home, and I would have a car that would come to pick me up, they would load me and take me. There were different contacts. Some were Serbian people who might have actually even met. They're still in the city. They moved here a long time ago. If those guys would come, 
it would be Belarus, it would be Moscow. But there was also other people who would appear too. And those are Slovenian people, natives from Slovenia. Let me, let me demonstrate you this stuff here. So you're going to have a little piece of history here I'm going to give you. Okay. Oh, one is right here. Yeah, we have this guy here. This is one guy here. Okay. Uh, you won't see him with Angela Merkel anywhere. But you will see him with this lady here. With this one. Um, as a matter of fact, I really, really liked this picture here. Uh, this is, uh, her name is Novak. I made just a, like a little mistake, but I am determined to get this stuff done. Uh, Angela Merkel in Loise Petrle version Terneo. That's not Angela Merkel, but all right. Uh, this here, this is Novak. That you see here. That was not Angela Merkel, that was somebody else. Uh, if you look at the photo, I don't have a time, you're gonna re quickly realize what I stated. This here, this is what they have used as a copy of Angela Merkel. And her name is Ludmila Novak. So the first thing I wanna do, is I have a habit to do to the last millimeter everything you know everything this here this is what they would use during mk ultra to replicate angela merkel she could have a hair like this and uh, uh maybe even more i don't know but this lady was uh involved very, very, very much. However, this is obviously that this is not Angela Merkel that you see right there. Yeah. The first thing I want to clarify is what I posted down below here this uh, individual, his name is Lois, Lois Petrle, this individual here. This is one of the most credited people for Slovenian independence. This year, this is Angela Merkel, is this year. This year, this is Angela Merkel. This is, this year is not Angela Merkel, unless she had a silicone mask over her face. Yeah. Unless she had a silicon mask over her face, uh, this is absolutely not Angela Merkel. Uh, this guy is happy. He is laughing. And I want you to see his face. I want you to pay attention to his face. I want you to look at this face. Yeah. I do want you to look at this face. I never wanted to do something like this, but now I want you people to pay attention to this face. I want you to pay attention to this face because the stuff I'm going to tell you today is rather horrific. It's not cool. There was a lot of people who suggested this guy is a crook. And he also that he looks like a crook. From my point of view, 
he is actually worse than a crook. And I did this. You know why I did this stuff? You know why I touched this subject? I touched this subject because of this stuff here. Because of a little earlier, I demonstrated to you how happily he is laughing with a lady uh, for whom they suggest is Angela Merkel in Chantiernay. I would love, love, love to know what is so funny, what is so fun. Stuff I'm about to tell you is atrocity. This is an atrocity, like you can commit bigger atrocity and you cannot commit a bigger grand treason than the stuff I'm about to tell you in this video. This individual have committed with few others. This people refer themselves as a Slovenian independence leaders. One guy, his name is Dmitry Ruper. This is this guy here that you see. This one here. This is another crook who was involved in MP Ultra. He was crook next to crook. I don't I, I don't recall a single individual that I could say that was not a crook. It really was nothing other than crook next to crook. Really crooks. Crooks like you wouldn't believe. Um, for somebody dedicated to Slovenia, like I was, nationally self-aware, and uh, idiotic, stupid enough for not being aware of myself of what this national awareness have done to me, I paid a tremendous cost for, for this crookery here that you see. Next individual here I'm going to be referring to was this guy here. This guy was a frequent, the most involved individual next to another individual I'm going to demonstrate to you. But this was like my main partner was this guy here. His name is Igor Boucher, this guy here. This guy played like the main role. This was uh, like totally, totally, totally my partner, basically, this guy here. This one here. This is what I selected to accompany me, whatever. And um, he was extremely, extremely comf confident, uh, comfortable uh, having me around, this individual here. This was a police officer, Yugoslav police officer. And this was a guy, you say, would by individual, but it was a Slovenian native. And um, another individual, just you, I want you to remember this guy. This was the guy who always almost transported me with a car to Germany. If it was not for Loise Petrla, it would be exactly this guy that would come with a car. They would prepare me here, the neighbors I'm talking about, like physician, Dr. Igor Kotar, Bergers, and so on. They, they would prepare me, and this guy would come, and they would sit me in the car, and I would depart. They would have me leave. Berger did not like me. They hated me for this. But uh, it was other people that would come, and uh, MK Ultra it was. So they needed somebody, staff member. And so this was this. This was an individual that would put me in the car, in his car, and would drive me straight to Germany across the Austria. Another individual who would do exactly what I stated was this crook here that's laughing. This, this crooked here. This one. Petrle is his name, Louisa Petrle. And then there was another crook who would also occasionally do this kind of stuff too. Actually, quite more than this guy here. 
This guy was the third guy uh, of these crooks. Uh, he would more like seldomly do stuff like this. But this guy was second to the guy that I demonstrated you. This guy would transport me also to Germany through Austria. This is another police officer. This is another undercover Udba individual, Yugo individual. Um, this basically is what this was. They would come, they would sit me in the car. This one would be like 50 50. I would say he shared second spot with this guy. But the number one was Igor Boucher. Igor Boucher. The number one was this guy here. This guy. This police officer, this Yugo police officer. From the times of Yugoslavia. This guy. And this, <laughs> this guys, this cowards didn't have a shit. They didn't have. They didn't have anything other than shit in their pants. Whenever they would escort me to Moscow, if they find themselves on their mission to Moscow which I already want to know if they were just a regular citizens and so on how the fuck you go to Moscow how do you go there that's dangerous man and he goes the same to Croatian side and all other sites in my personal opinion uh, terms I came to is that none of these people uh, can be trustworthy. I came to terms even that in Croatia, politicians have a tremendous problem. And just as, is, as was the case in Slovenia, the Croatian people were the one they would not give in. They revolted against this stuff. And it was a people like this that just couldn't stop them. They just couldn't hold them back. And these are the people, in my opinion, still are the people that were to serve as a transition from Yugoslavia to independent Slovenia and again from independent Slovenia back into Yugoslavia. As for myself, the way I see these people personally, I would give every one of them thousand years of jail sentence i wouldn't release these people from the jail anymore from my perspective and in a little bit you will understand exactly why and how eastern germany became independent i apparently was very useful with those implants um i clearly can recall the implants the business, the German business, clearly. I don't have any problems remembering Angela Merkel next to the boss. Oh, everybody was nervous about this lady, older lady. Yeah, that, that was the chief, the boss over there, the supervisor. I thought at first it was like a school, you know, because they have their own cabinet, they have their own offices. And uh, but uh, then there was an area where the ladies interacted and worked together in a certain area and so on. And so <laughs> they were all good friends with one another. They were just wanted to make me feel like, you know, the boss is coming, you know, the, the lady is coming. And there was this German lady, older lady. Who liked me very much? Actually, there were two ladies. They had like two, three older ladies, and it was one lady that liked me, and 
it was like two older ladies, like a dragons, but the one that liked me was like a, like a head, it was like, it was like a boss. Those ladies just love to play. And uh, when and there was a younger generation next to them, there was Angela Merkel, you know. Uh, and it, it, this, this lady is just like ladies, I mean, they had their own issues going on. You know? They say, pleasure goes with the business, business goes with the pleasure. Um, that's what my girlfriend, uh, a Chinese ex-girlfriend used to say. Okay, but anyways, who could understand these ladies? I mean, ladies like ladies. Uh, they had fun. It's not only men that have fun, but ladies have their own way of uh, wasting company's time. Uh, anyhow, I knew exactly what went on. I was bugged. They bugged me. Um, and really nobody knew about any of this stuff. Uh, and or Maybe it did. A little earlier, I have written down that nobody knew about this stuff. Uh, well, it maybe did. I sure kept it uh, silent about it. I didn't say anybody anything. I, I, kept, it to, I kept it to myself. I didn't want to say anything. I understood that this is something very, very important. And uh, that it was done literally to to free Eastern Germany, to free Poland, Czech Republic, Slovakia. They would transfer me back and forth, Baltic states. You know, they would smell me here. They would smell me there. Uh, then it was in Moscow, they had me in Belarus and back and forth and back and forth, Belgrade, Zagreb, Croatia, Zagreb, Belgrade, Serbia. Uh, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. I don't know why, why Angela Merkel repeated to me this stuff about my being bugged. Um, I felt unease about it for um, as long as um, I could afford to even keep this kind of information. Then after like 10 minutes or so, I just let it go to oblivion. Now, in other words, I trained myself to just any kind of information like this to just delete one from my head, basically, and just go about the stuff. Well, you know, I told you that uh, stuff like this, what was in my head is for the stuff like this, you could, uh, you could disappear for good, and nobody would know. There would be no trace about you ever again. Uh, Siberia is big. Uh, they had jails and uh, psychiatric hospitals and stuff like this and that kind of stuff. Uh, Yugoslavia was indifferent. And for me to actually head some kind of uh, uh, espionage on a mission to Moscow, uh, me being from Slovenia, that's quite suicidal, isn't it? I mean, not a pleasant thought. What to do other than to just uh, let go? And uh, she was even more unpleasant about Angela Merkel because she stressed to me issues. That if I'm aware, you know, that if I'm aware of what this is and explain to me about the whole fucking thing, 
which really should do that kind of stuff. You know, you know the ladies are ladies, man. Uh, the thing is, is, this wasn't about ladies only. That's why I am going to video, I am going to upgrade this stuff here. I, I have posted here that, you know, all this stuff here that, uh, you know, how, uh, nobody knew about, uh, post about the Poland, you know, Uh, in a previous post, I did that nobody knew except the Poland maybe knew and this and that. Um, yeah, maybe really so for maybe like first uh, maybe three years. Germany, anyhow, Germany was the first one, right? That, that broke free from that. Maybe to a German independence, maybe in this, but you have no idea how she, how much she fucked me. Possibly even more because it was earlier than the Russians even participated in this. There is a possibility that Bonn, where I really enjoyed myself being because I didn't have to fear that somebody's going to kill me. Um, collaborated with the Moscow, with the United States of America, straight with the Moscow. There is a very strong chance about this. I mean, you know, there was always somebody next to me, I felt. It was always a police officer from Slovenia who was present. A police officer talk, talk about the Ministry of Interior and, and shit. From Yugoslavia, it's impossible that that Moscow would not be acquainted. This is no fucking way. Even if Moscow would not be acquainted, acquainted, and I would be transported in such condition to Eastern Germany, Moscow would know on a heartbeat everything about who was there. You could not go past the Eastern German border or Hungarian, or you have no idea. Who, uh, I mean, this was guarded with people with holding of machine guns. One time I, we went to Slovakia when there was still the Soviet Union from Yugoslavia with a bus. And you would have these border guards with machine guns in their hands, standing. There's no fucking way Moscow for such a thing would not know within like five minutes less. No fucking way. Before even the, 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 the let's say, a Budapest or Bratislava or uh, Prague or something like this, the phone would go straight to Moscow, man. They had these people, this this Russian, Soviet, I should say, officers everywhere. There's no fucking way that you can go past that. And the ladies in Germany, that, that they would just go and risk like this? I doubt it. I doubt it. I'm not saying that's not possible. Um, if they did, that's pretty crazy because you you fucking endanger me if not yourself. So kamikaze oriented. I mean, just know that that uh, if if something like this would be, I don't know. Um, so I think I assume that. What Berlin actually bond was claiming me that it's nobody that knows that it's a top secret and this and that. 
Um, we are also American politicians. I doubt it. If anything is possible, anything is possible without Russian knowledge. I doubt it because of the the, the, the issues I stated. Now that there is more to this. There is there is more reasons to why I doubt this kind of stuff. That it was that it was like this. I I doubt it. You know, Slovenian independence. Slovenian independence started. Oh, well, you're going to read it. It was in 1991. The thing is that it was not in 1991. Slovenian independence started in like 1997. And it started with exchange between me, between Medvedev, Lavrov. Those are the people, the underdogs that Kremlin have used, Yeltsin, Gorbachev, they would always have a, a company. This is, they would have various people. Those are the people that, that had the social skills. Medvedev and Lavrov. Lavrov was the one that brought Medvedev like a baby, basically. It's, it's not university degree is not enough. University degree, according to Lavrov alone, is just good credential for you, but the ability to work with young people with in a special uh, under the special terms under the special conditions like for instance uh, uh, my two teachers from grammar school at the first grade that I mean transfer from kindergarten to the first grade grammar school have stated me that this is a special class it's where MK Ultra is they told me you may even want a chance to do another class or whatever, they told me. They told me, just so you know, this kind of stuff. Um, we are special educators, that's what they claim. They claim we have more credentials than other teachers here. We have a two younger teachers we are training now. This was the first grade of the grammar school. It was one teacher and then there was another one that came. And we are training these teachers to know as much as about this as we do. But just so you know, this is the MK Ultra program and so on. Um, they wanted to evaluate the degree of national, um, this isn't about self-awareness. Self-awareness starts with what I'm doing right now. That's why I said that self-awareness, self-awareness is just, you know, there's always been this, uh, not always, but since a long time ago, since handyman age, notion that you have to belong to some tribe to somebody you know for different reasons varieties and the thing about it is that just like all the young people i too you know just was trained to see straight you know no left, no right, just Slovenia, Slovenia, that's it. Like, you would have young people in the States, and they would go like, America, America, or, you know, whatever. Germany, Germany, whatever. Whatever country you would go to, right? So then it only gets down to how much, well, if Loise Petrle, the guy that I demonstrated you earlier, would probably refer to that as how much insane you are. Yeah, because I was rated this insane and the insane part about this stuff is that i wasn't rated by the kremlin only i wasn't rated by the lavrov and by the medvedev only as insane but as soon as slovenia became independent uh it was igor boucher it was loise petrle it was Dmitri rupel janis jansha was these people who rated me as insane. 
and they rated me as insane out of pure evil out of pure disrespect out of pure need for a treason for humiliation and to destroy individual within i was young i was very sensitive and the stuff in moscow or let's say milan kuchan or let's say borut pahol those are the people that insisted on yugoslavia would not get me regardless of torture that went on and in africa and whatever they were doing to me the thing is i knew that those people are not for independence of this country but what fucked me up mentally the most is when the people who would come to pick me up here in front of the home inside of this kitchen drove me through the austrian border to western germany probably even to Eastern Germany, I have no idea. Eastern Germany not, one time. I remember Eastern Germany not. Uh, however, there were occasions they would also drive me to Eastern Germany. Mainly not, however, they would also drive me to Eastern Germany, which means that these people had a top KGB, Russian Soviet clearance. Then you make your own fucking mind about how secret was what and this and that it was occasion when they would try to enter the territory of DDR from germany from western germany and they would not allow them and there would be somebody else that would come and take us because it was always one police officer that accompanied further to berlin uh that's why i know this stuff and it was actually even open to them ability to go literally through the border from the western germany to eastern germany uh we are talking about two years before uh eastern german liberation it was like this that janes jansha uh, igor Boucher, these people had clearance to enter eastern germany and sometimes these guys would go together with loisa petrela and so on and having me along would enter into ddr into eastern germany from the western germany so then it's all up to you whatever the fuck you think i'm just stressing you like facts factual account about what went on it's the stuff does not break to the public so what as i stated earlier i don't need no fucking confirmations or audio or video if i will wait for those i would rotten dead in pain and in vain like joe biden stated i would see the day when that will happen the best or the worst maybe is the whole world will still hate me for lies they created out of this case against me during mk ultra it's enough in 1997 if not in 1996 a severe argument between me exploded between the kremlin about slovenian independence if i would like that it will be a topic they will discuss about slovenian independence that that it came to them to their attention slovenian independence topic and so it started and uh, what i did was i might have sound even a little bit insane uh i acknowledged that the russian side is looking to get a feedback about willingness to sacrifice and i came to terms myself really nothing with these people i'm telling you the so-called independent slovenian independence leaders i came to terms that 
I should give an impression to them about like being somebody from Vietnam or something, like willing to dig myself at the garden in the hall with a gun and wait for the enemy until the fight until the last breath, basically. Just as they mentioned the Slovenian independence, this is basically the impression since they got, I don't know, was it 1997? Sure, I was ready. This is insane, but I didn't mind. Fuck that. Uh, I said to myself, when it comes to an issue like that, I better be insane than uh, perfectly sane. And we'll just say part of the greater Serbian Chetnik state. Thank you very much. With a great future ahead of us, which is what Slovenia have exercised against me. Anyways, that's why I said that these were transitioners between. Yugoslavia and independent, what should have been independent Slovenia and what they anticipated, maybe even through this video, how would again turn into Yugoslavia. You're going to see how. This is the impression I gave them. The impression I gave them was bad, strong enough. Germany broke free, in meanwhile. Uh, but it was an impression bad, bad enough, despite getting in the most severe uh, arguments with the Croatian side, uh, with the Zagreb, tremendous problems with Bosnian politicians, the biggest problems maybe with the Bosnian politicians, and at the time, very active still were Macedonian politicians. Macedonian politicians were vehemently against me. Macedonian politicians will have maybe worse than Serbian politicians. So I'm saying because the fuck I was guilty then of going against Macedonia and stuff like this, man. They replaced, they removed those Macedonian politicians. But I'm talking to you, to Macedonian politicians. Why don't you tell the whole thing to the Polacks, to the Czechs, to the Slovaks, and to everybody? You, you cook the shit. How about the politicians before you have moved them? in the background that gave me so much hard time. How about those politicians? You replace them with uh, more tolerant politicians. But those politicians want to meet dead at all costs. In Moscow, in Belgrade, during these negotiations, you have to tell the whole thing, because I was guilty of Albanian civil war in Macedonia, but the next thing I would do is, when you would come in the face to me like this, the only thing I would do is, I would support the side that was on my side. Albanian side was on my side, Albanian side became my partner. You see, after all, it wasn't about the genetics, it was about bullshit. You gave me bullshit, then I gave you a lot of bullshit back. This is just the way it is. If you didn't want independence, that's fine. You could remain there and that's it. But if somebody wants independence, you're really nobody to go and death threaten and that you're going to, I don't know what. You just don't do that stuff. And if you do, that person have the right to return with everything he has. That's just the way it is. This negotiations, if you like, or mental illness, I don't care, which went on for about probably three years at least, ended with Medvedev stating me in front of Boucher, Yansha, German side, continued to participate in it. It was Americans participated. That's why, I am. you know, you think they would have this... Uh, without Russian knowledge, to me, when I think about that Lavrov, when Slovenian people would go to Moscow and we would engage in conversations in Moscow and, and Lavrov would know absolutely everything about our conversations between the, let's say, Boucher, Petrlet, these people that would go to Moscow in the background, 
of it all. What we have spoken about, and if I stated something, it would get to his attention, he would get on my toes. Meaning that it wasn't really exactly what Angela Merkel stated me, for what actually fucked me, right? I mean, maybe it didn't fuck me. Maybe I'm thinking about right now, maybe I should think about being bucked. Yeah, and I did, but maybe not enough, but uh, I get it. Maybe Angela Merkel was just trying to warn me about what goes on in Moscow, but the way they did this stuff, this is, I don't know. It's it's awkward. If she would say that, that, that it's eavesdropping, that you're being recording, that's one thing. But that you're recording for the West, that you're engaging in espionage for the West, that's totally different. Uh, and the third is that if you are, you want to help somebody, you wouldn't you wouldn't say something like this to him, anyways. Um, that would only mean the fuck the Russian side doesn't have the the surveillance, and the Russian side did have surveillance. So one thing we're already going to square away. Whatever Angela Merkel was talking about between Bonn and Berlin is not true. Scientifically proven right now. You see, this is basically how I know about things. Medvedev stated to the people I demonstrated, German side, American side, that there is a paper he's going to read the afternoon to be prepared before we had this meeting and proclaimed that uh, Slovenia has, in fact, a green light from the Russian side about its independence, that, however, uh, they will talk about it to a Serbian side. The proclamation that uh, Russians gave for Slovenia becoming independent state came out in nineteen in nineteen ninety maybe maybe even in nineteen eighty nine because in nineteen ninety one Slovenia became independent state. However. Uh, as much as our people were extremely pleased, it was actually in maybe 1990. It was in 1990 because about six months after, it's where the war for in Slovenian independence commenced. It was only 10 days war, which a Russian side apologized by claiming on how this was supposed supposedly arranged with the Serbian side with Milosevic uh, the Serbian side Milosevic according to the Russians however should have uh, Milosevic protested against this, a Serb Milosevic protested against it, they were completely out of their mind. The Russian side told us that this was actually in 1989. In 1989, uh, it appeared somewhat that the Russian side actually sided with me, maybe even. Uh, but later on it became evident that it was not exactly. Uh, they had a problem. The problem was how to explain this, how to pass on what I stated to the Serbian side. So the Serbian side would accept this in a peaceful way and it will be a peaceful separation and stuff like this. This was of the biggest concern to the Russian Federation, to the, to the Russian Federation, to the Soviet Union. Uh, this was the biggest, biggest issue to the Russia. I didn't even look at those years yet. Uh,
Milosevic apparently got very excited. Uh, it did not look it's going to be peaceful. Uh, Russian side didn't actually know where to go from within, what exactly what. Uh, and it came to, I got an impression that the Russian side changed its mind within like yeah i would say even the last year before the separation the russian side changed its mind uh, they started to death threaten me they were all fucking red in my face guaranteeing me my being dead and stuff um But on the surface, was giving the signal that it's all good, that it's Slovenia, it's ready to, and so on, for the separation and so on, and, and trying to delay as much as possible. I had a feeling. Anyhow, Slovenia did go and uh, start the independence, made its proclamation, and so on. Uh, and the moment it did, it was attack on Slovenia. Slovenia faced. Uh, Small, 10-day, but very, very active uh, warfare, uh, engaging Serbian military, uh, engaging tanks, uh, even fighter jets headed for uh, border crossing. Uh, none of the stuff that the promised land, they, they, they insisted, the Slovenian side, that it might be actually complication here and there with a minor complication. They feel this is a minor complication. Uh, that the Serbian side, the leadership is completely aware of it, uh, but that could be a problem with like officers from Yugoslav National, Yugoslav Federal Army that are not acquainted with it and there might be people that will never agree to something like this to expect stuff like that, yeah, and basically trying to say to resolve this in as peaceful way as possible. However, I don't think that they were peaceful. I think they had not good stuff on their mind. Anyhow, Slovenia with a 10-day war broke free uh, however, war exploded in Croatia. It was, in my opinion, that it broke free for the cost of uh, a war of Croatia in Croatia. Croatia was the one that uh, ensured Slovenian independence. And uh, from the moment that Slovenia obtained that uh, independence, uh, there were two things that happened. One thing is that uh, Slovenia didn't give a three fuck about assisting Croatia and the second thing that happened was uh, as I wrote earlier here today as I wrote earlier here today um, Lois and Peter Lenn, Angela Merkel who delivered me with the German officials to Slovenia had a talk in front of me upon uh, 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 independence no 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 uh, this lady here was used uh, this one here this this lady here this um, Novak Uh, Ludmila Novak, uh, traveled together with, upon Slovenian uh, independence, everything, uh, as it happened, uh, it was, it was, uh, she, uh, Peter Le, uh, again, and now, uh, this, 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 uh, trips to Germany, which already at the time was united, became more and more and more frequent. And uh, it, it, it just happened so that they had more and more and more people on board. 
uh, and uh, more and more luxurious, more and more extravagant. Uh, they would travel with the cars, like for the promenade, like little deluxe, like to fuck around trips, basically, just like, you know, for the end of the week, for whatever you, you know, whenever you feel like, you know, you know what I'm talking about? Money like a fucking rice, man. Don't know what the fuck to do with the money. Don't know what to do with yourself. Uh, the freedom, you don't know what the fuck to do with it. So why not go and just have fun with it and jiggle it away? Yeah? So now you have this individual, this crook, and you have And you have this crook. This is nothing but crooks, really. Those are crooks that stick together, really. And you have this crook here. And they will have a wonderful time, man. Uh, wonderful, wonderful, wonderful time, yeah? With Lyudmila claiming me inside of this home, inside of this kitchen, that it's not time yet to let me free. Let me free. I didn't ask for any fucking thing. But to stop. It was in independent Slovenia and it was not at the time yet. It was not the time yet. Simultaneously you have these criminals. And when I say criminals, I have no one on my mind more than this crook here that you see here, boy. I have nobody on my mind more than this individual here. Began to pressure German diplomacy, which claimed me all along how grateful it is for German independence and so on, and, and, and you accomplished this, and we're going to help you, and so on. Well, the thing about it is that um, I was not lucky with, with, with uh, German diplomacy with the German support. I I was, uh, I can't say a single word good about the German diplomacy. Yeah. Um, this individual pressured down on German delegation. And even worse than this one was this guy here. This one here that you see, his name is Janis Jansha. This crooked, this crooks here. These so are the crooks that pressured on a German delegation to not stop, to not let me free, to not help me out, and basically to continue to choke me that they will not stop the torture, will continue exactly whatever they inherited from. Yugoslav state from a Yugoslavia that it just must be this way and it's not the time yet Croatia was in war but Croatia believe it or not was not the reason all through Croatia was the one that would not want me to break free to become liberated to stop slavery due to the war that went on and due to what this people here you see noticed that I always sided and supported just as Slovenia in a very same fashion also Croatian state yeah it took them about one year to stress in my face that a lie basically of course one out of them that it was because of the Croatian state this guy here, this this guy, year and a half, but it took about a year and a half to lie to me again in the face that it was because of Croatian state that he couldn't let me go free. And meanwhile, this boys invented, I should say, joined this Milan Kuchan game. That's interesting, isn't it? Milan Kuchan is this small guy here that you see was such a good friend of Vladimir Putin. 
so many times. See, he made Moscow his home, basically. Does it really matter even if I say second home or whatever? But we have a, such a wonderful people here in Slovenia that... I would say that they would kill on a heartbeat for Russia. Uh, natives here, they did. And not on a heartbeat, they did. Very, very bad people. Uh, interesting is that these people that you see right there, I have demonstrated this so called Slovenian independence people, this, this here, joined the game of facial profiling. What do you think about me? This and that. Now, that kind of stuff, this kind of thuggery, basically. They started to contribute to Milan Kucha. They started to make things impossible. And whomever Milan Kucha did not destroy, or I should say Borut Pahor, I guarantee you, Whoever approached to me, no. no, whoever this guy is did not destroy that was involved in anti ultra, if he approached me with the idea that he's going to help me, then this guy's here 100% did. And I know so because they went on to destroy me. As I earlier have stated, nobody brain fucked me more than the people that you have seen right there. I have voted for, I have supported, I have faith in, see myself in, in this independent Slovenian state and so on. Nobody fucked me more. Then they rated me as crazy, as mentally ill. They realized that I'm mentally ill. That was about like six months down independence. And the truth is, I really did display signs of mental illness. Because it was for the first time that I actually was for something so big that I accomplished. Sidelined and basically... classified as a trash, as somebody who needs to be wasted, destroyed. The independence, Slovenian independence leaders that I demonstrated you, collectively have participated and became actually obsessed with the idea to destroy me, to waste me, to destroy me. They took initiative to get me destroyed to the next level and became competition in causing me as much as possible psychological arm next to Milan Kucha. This is a story about your Slovenian independence, uh, maybe something little about the Germany. I hope you have enjoyed. Uh, over the course of the years, it was just more beatings, and the more the beatings took place, uh, the less Loise Petele understood me the crazier i was you know, so that was the only thing i ever got from these people uh, slovenia exercised 20 years actually yugoslavia federation of yugoslav republic exercised 20 years of genocide against me using the so-called mk ultra but slovenia did 32 with a definite goal, a mindset on killing me. Thanks for watching this video. Today is June the 23rd, 2023. As I said, it's got to be done in a such a way. It's got to be done in a such a detail that so audio and video records, whether they are or not, it's actually what I need is this case to be completed and I am confident, certain, that police officers next to investigators, next to proofs I post on my website, 
not about the testimonies like this. I don't actually even go for this stuff. Even the stuff I talk about, of course, nobody knows the stuff I have spoken about other than DDR police, secret police, Western born government, and so on. Nobody knows this, this kind of stuff. CIA, Central Intelligence Agency, and so on. The Russians, Russians, well, or they will, who cares? Confirm any of the state like this. As for the Germany, um, Germany, unfortunately, uh, upon Croatian independence, again have uh, sided with uh, Poland, Czech Republic, and all other states that actually they were even a thorn in the heel of Croatia during the war for Croatia. But who gives a fuck now? Uh, that's how it all turned. Uh, stealing and killing, stealing definitely is universal. It applies to Germany, to Russia, definitely to Slovenia, Italy, France, UK, USA, and Canada, and Africa. Stealing applies even the one that is worse than human slavery. Just as the white, I should say, racism And probably even more to black, if race I'm talking about. If something like this would have happened to the black person, oh boy, can you imagine what would come out? Uh, stealing theft is totally universal. Killing for theft. It's totally universal. It's totally, it's totally, you can find this accepted anywhere in the world, any part of the world where you go to Asia or to Africa, you go to Europe or whatever the hell you go. It's totally, totally, this is only in respect to Germany. I wouldn't, I wouldn't accept more than what I stated, whatever came out of my mouth. You remember the paragraph I outlined, number one? And that's why I was wishing to myself I was happy today, satisfied. Without leaving a gap, space for anybody to have any kind of comment, any kinds of landmark anything that we want to set on the record straight I left none in this case we only have one legitimate testimony with so many people involved in it that's what really matters and it's legitimate it is. I did not lie. I did not omit. I did not. If I did make a mistake, I corrected it. As for the rest, people who have these records, people who have this stuff, you know. However, I did my stuff. Um, Germany had proven itself to be the worst partner in the world. It just happened so that uh, even upon the German independence, if you want, if you're from Germany, and you want a piece of little, little piece of history, uh, the German government insisted on how they will help me out. They insisted upon German independence, just what a job I did. By the way, Arnold Schwarzenegger joined in 89. He couldn't handle anymore. Arnold Schwarzenegger was no, no. There was no Hollywood. 
Now Arnold Schwarzenegger was the second Hollywood actor, according to some American uh, politician, and I don't think it was Romney, but it looked like that, uh, who had the right to actually join this exclusive club. Uh, not approach Moscow anywhere near anything like this. Uh, uh, Moscow would, that's what Moscow claimed, would not deal with Bonn, anything like this, only only with Berlin and through the Berlin then with Bonn or whatever. No way would you get to the table, Western Germans with the Russians, maybe, these are important things to remember why I was so useful. About a year before independence, before the German independence, is when Arnold Schwarzenegger joined in, get himself in this, started to participate next to some other actor that was participating also about maybe two years earlier, they accepted another actor that joined. Uh, nobody helped me with the German independence. They went down with, with whatever decision uh, their newly founded partner had made, partners have made in, with Slovenia and then with the Croatia and so on. Uh, that's just actually really nasty as it gets. Uh, eventually in 1990, well, I don't know, maybe it was 92 or 93, I immigrated to Austria, to my aunt. They, they had a chance, basically, to meet me, to see me, invite me to work, whatever. I didn't even get any fucking opportunity, anything. I, I did not spoke any German, really. Uh, but, you know, you could give guy if you want to help him out, something, so he could get past and eager as I was to learn German, uh, it would make things really, it would be really easy for me to integrate, but uh, there was no, there was no interest, there was no, there was no German interest. When United States of America, it was a Germany, the one that demanded for me to return back to Slovenia, claiming me that they need me back to, in Slovenia, but Needing me back in Slovenia only meant one thing, to terminate me. That's all it was. Germany had a lot to do with destroying my citizenship, American citizenship, hatred and all kinds of issues. Grew up on a German guard. Angela Merkel stated only made one mistake with the Russians. Um, good for Angela, that's all, I'm, that's all I have to say. Yeah? Um, it's June the 23rd, 2023. Thanks for watching this video. Till next time.